Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. Just flying out there. Look at those lap times. I guess he's out to show Matthias Schuster who's number one. Hello there. Welcome to the Global Innovation Race. I hope you enjoy your time there. Listen, Miller, 
I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, don't forget I'd be off the cross that All Half about an hour getting later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic the because the road cage interferes with the radio signals from the air suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. But tell you what. You double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck. For all you race buffs out there, I can tell you that the winner will again. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ballbuster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. With champagne on the podium after a few years of regular sparkling wine, that is real champagne from the eastern region of France. Fun fact of the day for you. Don't forget. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap before the accident. You think anyone, you know, helped make the accident happen? It wouldn't be the first time we've been doing Remember two years ago when that driver from East Texas got shot at his bus? Someone had met Uh huh. Huh? What was that sound? Okay. Three key. And there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, Hello get into there. position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Hey, 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 hey. Man, that's dangerous. Who's throwing stuff around? Huh. What was that? Hello? Someone there? Now! Let me 
just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance racing. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within. Family show, family folks, make no mistake. mistake. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning. And Moses Lee and Sierra Knox are neck and neck out there. as it is about the driver's talent. How are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, relax, Doc. I know you've got Sierra Knox coming in for that fancy IV vitamin boost. I'm doing my best here, all right? Ah, uh, excuse me. You're here to replace Dr. Sorensen. I, um, I forget your name, sorry? Dr. Reaper. Ah, yes, of course. Well, whenever you're ready, you can page Miss Knox. I know she's very eager to get her vitamin boost. I'll prepare for her arrival. So, did Dr. Sorensen manage to get Sierra Knox's phone number? I heard him arguing the race with that is Kronstadt over. lawyer. Sierra earlier. will be coming no, off the track didn't have any luck. time now. Once he's done with that other driver, he'll just have to use the intercom and call her over the PA system instead. She should be able to hear it just fine. All right. As long as it's in hand, I guess. Paging Miss Knox. Paging Miss Sierra Knox. The doctor will see you now. Excellent work, 47. Sierra Knox should be on her way to the emergency area.
Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. Where'd you want me? Miss Knox, come on in. Have a seat and relax. So, what's on the menu? Something that'll take care of this hideous pain in my neck, I hope. I promise. Once I'm done, you won't feel a thing. So what's in this thing anyway, Doc? Mostly floral extracts, hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait, belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Hey, Doc. Hope we don't need you today, huh? Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure, Miss Knox. Uh, I... I don't feel... I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Stat is very likely withholding information on what actually happened in front of back. And I think that we'll have a lot of I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost them in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye-bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. I'll talk soon. A disgruntled Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well, I always did feel that pink was your color, 47. to jump me and grab my outfit?
race is entering its final lap, 47. Knox, come back after the race. So, oh, that's it, folks. <laughs> Moses nice Lee outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good. Now. Let's see where this meeting is headed. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? For a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear? Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tongan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley Damage Control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily ever after. Two, you don't choose option one. Someone dies, right here, right now. Which do you prefer? Not much of a choice, is it? No, not really. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Kronstadt is very likely withholding information on what actually happened in Tongan Valley. You know Robert Knox eats here. Really? I had no idea it was that good. Oh, it's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I worked near here, I ate lunch here every day. But Robert Knox? He's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him yesterday. He talked about how he loves this place to death. 
It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. Another day, right? Uh... What? No, you can't fool around with that. Good show, 47. Now stick around. Once the word spreads, Knox won't be long. Forty-seven. Robert Knox is on the move. If I'm not mistaken, he's heading down to the Bayside food stand selling coconut balls. Pardon me. Can I offer you a little treat? Whoa! <laughs> Thanks so much. It's what I do. Who wants a taste? You? Go ahead. What the hell? You're welcome. That is Robert Knox, genius mm. inventor, Hello. black market weapon Hello. And Can I tempt you with a little snack? So, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. Hmm, that was superb, my good man. Uh, 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 Excuse me. Uh, uh, Oh, okay. You need to see a doctor. Yeah, now. Okay. Empire. 
Is Ted Mendes, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. This put me lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. How are you today, sir? Don't throw that! Nice day. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over. But it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret demo up What's up? Right this way, sir. Would have been nice to be able to break a story like that on my first run. Dream on, pal. Oh, uh, hello, HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Uh, listen, I, I... This may sound trivial, but...
trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz since we moved in. I can't work without my energy drinks, and I have been forced to bring my own. Miles above anything I've seen pitched before. Not even the Chinese have anything as promising. I don't know. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. I understand. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. See. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any sure. of the pictures on the desk, away. Then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead, make my day. Target acquired. Damn it. Robert Knox. Aw, oh, shit. For my sake. Robert Knox down. Man, now this for one the looks air. Like an is very likely withholding information on what actually happened in Tongue and Valley. And I think the people have a right to know. Spooky. <laughs> it's probably nothing.
Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. So that's Bruno Diaz, came in third last year on this track. He'd want to do better this time around, and I wouldn't be too surprised to see him on the podium at the end of the day. Sure, you get paid a lot less and don't get the same respect and recognition as the drivers or even the pit crew. Excuse me? Very charming. could make the podium pyrotechnics fire up rather explosively. Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Rudder. I am the senior race engineer at the Miami Global Innovation Race. The race is officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. I think all the race is a bit of a surprise to so many of us. While they certainly weren't the favorites, they somehow managed to get to the top of the ladder over the course of these three days. Get down. Next up, Robert Knox. Been any of these races before, but it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret gem or repairs on the expo building, but right. they absolutely crush the opposition in any race. As such, it's a beautiful it's piece of it. I understood from the briefing earlier that we're just supposed to grab him if something happens to it. No poking around the engine or anything like that. Yeah, Knox is a genuine technical genius. He's really protective about his project. He prefers to fix everything himself, apparently. Don't worry about grabbing him, though. If anything goes awry, you'll see him down here as fast as light. Gotcha. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the Expo building. 
The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's wheel. What's up? Booster, huh? What is that stuff anyway? I think some of the teams are using it to increase car speed. Heard a few Kronstadt mechanics talking about it the other day. Huh. Okay. Can you go and see what's going on? Copy that. car is the first production unit and is identical to the one Sierra Knox has been racing these past two days. But being the very first one, it's a bit special to Mr. Knox, so he, he won't allow anyone to drive it. Good. I dare say this should get Knox's undivided attention. Hey, hey, cut that out, okay? Huh. Why's the engine off? Ah, hi there. Let's just try to get this started again. Sound good. Better call Knox. Mr. Knox? Yeah, it's Smith from down at the expo. Listen, the Mark III's making some, well, just odd noises. Uh, can you come? Great. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Hybrid engines are hardest run by electric components and hardly run on special ration. Central. I'm at the location now and uh, we're clear. Nothing. 